I do feel that deep down there might be a little bit of disappointment coming through when it comes to your social interactions with friends and loved ones in general. Mainly because I do feel that, you know, the first row in this spread is indicating to me um, a little bit of pain, disappointment, and possibly even feeling a little bit discouraged. Mainly because somebody is not being truthful and honest with you. And I do feel that this is a situation where you are aware that they haven't been faithful or they haven't been truthful. And you have this deep sense of self-knowing that um, you, you know you're, you're getting you're getting your your intuition is kicking in overdrive, and you're telling yourself, no, this person is you know has always been like that, and I shouldn't give it another go, or I shouldn't give them another chance to disappoint me. You're not going to call them out on it. I don't feel conflict. I don't sense disagreement. I feel that you're just going to let it stay there and you're not going to entertain the thoughts of dealing with that other person. For a lot of you, you might be dealing with an, a water sign. So water signs are Cancer, Capricorn, uh, excuse me, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I do feel that um, this is somebody that is still trying to get your attention, but you're turning your back. You're turning your back. You're focusing on your own life. You don't want to be associated with the drama, potentially, that this water sign is bringing into your life, okay? So it's a very good energy, I would say. Um, I don't sense anything catastrophic is happening from this because, you know, we do have, despite having the Three of Swords, which indicates to me a little bit of pain, but in this regards, I do sense you're going to be okay. You're coming up as the high priestess in which you trust your own sense of uh, self-knowing. You trust your intuition. You're trusting your guts about this person's intentions. And as a result of it, you're going to be in a good place. So this three of, um, of swords does indicate to me a little bit of disappointment. But that situation is going to... It's one of those things that you know was going to happen anyways. And as a result you are able to cast the other person aside and to move on with your life. And it's basically sending out a clear signal that um, you'd rather be alone than to have, you know, to put up with people in their drama, which is a, a good energy. It's an empowering energy. Um, in terms of finances, we do see a little bit of a dip coming through throughout this month. So we are starting out with the Queen of Pentacles, which is somebody who is very, very... Um, financially um, dependent or independent, financially stable, okay? And I do sense a lot of you, there might be family members, there might be friends, there might be somebody that you are very emotionally close to who will demand, you know, some type of financial help from you. I do feel that it could be, you know, an elderly male figure in your family. It's somebody who's slightly older, who might not have the means to take care of him or herself, I, I would say. I'm, I'm sensing more of a of masculine energy, but it can be gender neutral. It, it can just be, you know, older female, for example. But I do feel that um, this is something that you are debating. Um, you're, you're kind of like flip-flopping back and forth, whether or not you should give out this monetary help. And I do sense that if you do it, it's going to make you feel quite good. Even though you don't entirely trust this person's motives, I do sense you are going to do it. And you kind of have it in the back of your mind that, okay, if I, if I part with that money, I don't feel like I'm going to get it back again. And I do sense that, you know, for this month, you're probably not going to get it back. But I do feel further down the line, like in a period of four months, in the progression of four months, five months, you're going to be able to recoup half of it. So whatever it is that you're lending out, they're going to make empty promises and they're going to say, you know, this and that. And they're going to tell you like some imaginary time frame that they're going to be able to pay you back. But I do sense that it's going to take like four or five months for them to pay back half. 
and then it could possibly take another like two three weeks like another month for them to pay off everything and by that time they're serious that okay you're not going to put up with their behaviors anymore so i feel like you know just don't lend out money this month in general because i do i don't feel it's going to detract from you because you are very innately stable they sense that you're very stable and that's why they're asking you in the first place and i do feel whoever you're dealing with is has very very poor management skills money management skills they are also showing up as a king energy which is somebody in the reverse which indicates to me that it's uh, it's somebody that might have been once very stable but now they've hit, you know, some rough patches in their life. So I do feel they are sincere in that they need the money. But it's the talk that comes along with it that makes you feel a little bit distrustful. Um, so, you know, instead of just presenting the case and just telling you, you know, in, in, in concrete ways, I'm going to pay this back six months on, down the road. They don't really want to do that. They tell you, oh, it's going to be next month. And then it's going to actually take four or five months. Okay. So... Deal with this however you feel is appropriate, but I do sense that um, you you all have a very, very good heart, so I, I'm not surprised. I do feel that you're going to help them out, and you're going to feel quite good about it. You're going to at least feel that it was the right thing to do. You know, you want to give people multiple chances, multiple opportunities, so if it's just money, it's it doesn't affect you in an emotional way, so you're going to be able to um, help them out financially and I do sense they are going to appreciate it greatly okay so no matter what I do feel that you're going to help them out and I do feel that they are going to pay it down the line not this month but further down the line um, also keep in mind that when it comes to work situations a lot of you um, especially if you have like multiple employment opportunities I do sense that a lot of you are getting like um, you're either working in a project based capacity where you know one work contract would um, be for the duration of that project and then you know once that ends then you're jumping onto other things or you could be handling three separate projects at the same time for example um, two of them might be ending this month and you're thinking to yourself oh my gosh I need to go get something a little bit more stable or I need to find out more projects I need to find out my next project so that you know you have a, a steady income stream coming through and I do feel you are going to be successful because there's definitely new projects coming through new opportunities on the financial front coming through as well so I do feel a lot of you are kind of like deciding between four three four projects two of them are ending so you're picking on more work at the end of this month and you're basically at a point where you are very much sought after by whoever it is the hiring officials okay so not to worry they they have you in mind they enjoy looking at your resume they know you're definitely capable and there are definitely projects that are really you know in alignment with the things that you enjoy so I do feel more multiple work projects coming through and you get to pick and choose whatever it is that you want to do. And I do sense for a lot of you, you're piecing together multiple work, like part-time jobs or even multiple projects in order to meet the quota for, you know, your income for the month. So it looks very, very positive in that regards. Um, I do have at the center of this spread here is um, the Four of Swords in the reverse position and the Sun card. And this is a very powerful, potent energy for manifestation and for success, okay? So we're starting out the beginning of this month with a pretty laid back energy you might have free time the beginning of this month and you're just like um, you, you finally can get a breather and you can relax and do recreational reading and you can like you know um, go out and, and just enjoy your life and because the energy is not kinetic so you're taking a breather you're taking some time off and you're, you're focusing on yourself you focus on work and you're also focusing on you know finding new work once the uh, old work ends so that's the energy that you're projecting right now however by the end of this month I do feel that um, you're going to not that the environment around you is imposing a lot of uh, busy energy upon you but you're actually going to go out and seek more opportunities to socialize to date to just really have a good time to bask in you know the warm weather before the air turns chilly 
But either way, the people that are around you are very, very receptive to you. I do feel that, you know, we have one person kind of um, eyeing you and trying to... What I'm sensing is like almost a stealth sneak attack. It's like this person is very much interested. You've um, turned your back and you're telling them like, no, you're not really my type. I do feel them, whoever it is, is coming back in one more time at the end of the month to try to pursue you. And then you're kind of walking out of the picture. So I do feel definitely socially dating is, um, is going to be good for you. It's going to be in your best interest, mainly because you're generating a lot of buzz. You have this gravitational pull about you and people are very, very receptive. You're projecting a very carefree, a very childlike energy, which the other, the opposite sex or whoever, whatever genders you're dating, they find very alluring. So it's a good month to really get out there and socialize. I do sense as well with the death card and the um, six of pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a massive card of karma, okay? And um, it can be good or bad. It can be, you know, paying it forward so that the good karma comes back to reward you. Or it can be in a way where it's like um, somebody is doing something to you and now they're getting theirs. And I do feel there is a significant person in your life that might have hurt you and they're dealing with the ramifications of their actions. So let me just say that, you know, you're not you're not seeing them suffer or anything like that, but I do feel there is a deep-rooted lesson that they have learned and they're learning it, you know, in not in the easiest way, but you're starting to see the transformation that they're going through and they're becoming a better person. Just know that when I, you know, like even when it comes to karma, when it comes to like karmic soulmate type of relationships, you get together, you learn your respective lessons from one another, and the relationship cannot come back together. Okay, so even though they've changed, even though they're coming back and they are trying to um, make a proposal to you, it would be in your best interest to just let it go. Mainly because I do feel the relationship has run its course, or at least the lesson has been learned so that they can move on and learn other lessons from other people because I do feel that they're they're pursuing you they're pretty persistent as well and I don't feel this is just for love even though it's greatly indicated it's somebody that might have hurt you very deeply in the past coming in again to pursue you or you are encountering a very similar energy and all these warning signs all these red flags are showing up and you're just like wow, you are exactly like the other person I just had this extensive run-in with and the patterns are coming back through. And as a result, you are able to avoid it and you're able to walk ahead and not let this person in your life, okay? Or at least not even hear their excuses for why they're behaving this way because you've been through it. You know the underlying motives. Um, I do feel, once again, going back to what I was mentioning about karma, six of pentacles and five of pentacles, what I'm sensing is one karmic relationship has definitely ended. And I do feel that it, it could have ended like even last year. And it could have even ended like as, um, as long ago as last year. It could have ended very recently, like um, within the eclipse season, especially in the time of um, Virgo. So which is, you know... August 21st, roughly, to like um, September 22nd, I would say, it's September 21st, 22nd, depending on where you were born in the world. But I do feel that one karmic relationship has definitely ended, and another one has the potential to begin, okay? So this is a, a month that is going to bring about some very, very life-changing events, and I do feel with the Five of Pentacles, the lessons are a little bit more difficult. When it comes to the Six of Pentacles, it's all about the give and take. It's all about the emotional balance within a very karmic or a very uh, an existing relationship. It can be karmic give and take between social interactions between you and whoever it is that you're dealing with. It could be a work partner. It could be a work environment in which you really have to demand what it is that you feel you're worth and in which, you know, the universe creates circumstances and situations in which we have to stand up for ourselves, in which we have to rightfully demand whatever it is that we think we're worth. 
and it sets the tone for the rest of this year. It sets the tone for the initial conditions of that work environment, of that relationship. You have to draw boundaries very early on what it is that you want out of relationship, which is, you know, fair, balance, and, you know, just equality. You have to um, really establish that up front. So now, a relationship from your past has been very, very imbalanced. It was all, like, ego-driven. It was all about one person. It could be you or it could be the other person. I feel greatly that it's the other person. So you you pretty much, you know that they're like that. You know that they're a little bit self-centered, egocentric, and possibly emotionally manipulative. Whoever it was that you've dealt with in your past as a significant relationship partner, family member, you know, interpersonal relationships. I do feel that you knew that it was all about them. You did try your best to make them into a better person. You didn't kick up much of a fuss because you are deep down very, very loving and accepting of people and their flaws. You feel, you know, you're practical enough to know that we're all here on a human level. We all have flaws. And we don't try to change one another because it's not our right. And, you know, it's just not... It's just not the um, the human thing to do, even though, you know, he, it's human nature to want to to create perfection out of chaos. But I do feel you're starting to see the bigger picture and you don't, you accept people for, for the way that they are. And because of it, they overstep their boundaries and repeatedly they push your buttons and at least they marginalize you so that you end up with, you know, very little left for yourself. And you've, you've been aware of this. This is a past relationship. Even if it's happening now, it's definitely coming to an end this month. So if it's still continuing, it's definitely going to end. The karma has been restored. The karmic scale has been restored. You're going to be much better as a result of it. And I do sense the universe is prepping you. Once this is completely wiped clean, once the karmic scale has been, you know, I, I feel that it's restored. So once you can emotionally let this go, there is going to be a significant relationship that is going to, t um, another person is going to enter your life. And it is going to teach you about the lesson. The lesson is, um, is different this time. This relationship is also very karmic. And, but the lesson I feel is, um, I do sense the new lesson is for you to open yourself up and to trust people again. Whatever the situation that has happened in the past, it's got you very, you know, closed off, I feel. It's got you on guard. You're still open and honest and upfront with people, but you're, you've become more independent. You've become more like um, to the point where you want to go through life on your own. And the new lesson, the new person that is coming through, the new love interest that is coming through is very somebody who's very spiritual, somebody who could who is very, very caring. This is, um, you know, when I look at this card, I always think about the Empress. But the Empress is very like, um, is very earthy. The Empress is also very physical. Whereas with the High Priestess, she loves from afar. She knows how to detach and she tries to cultivate that deeper sense of love, loving, you know, people on a human level, loving, loving um, humanity, loving larger structures, loving the universe as a whole. So this is a more spiritual lesson that is coming through for you that you're going to have to learn with the new person, okay? And the new person proves to be somebody who, somebody who is very spiritual, who has been through a lot in their lives too. And I do feel that it could be somebody to restore your faith in life, okay? Um, you're a little bit hesitant. You're a little bit obstinate about letting this new person come through. And I do feel as well, this person is somebody who is courting you. Like I said, I do feel this person has been through a lot in life. They know what it's like to suffer from heartache and disappointment. They know what it's like to like um, love somebody on a human level where you accept all their flaws without wanting to change them. So they are very spiritually evolved and they're trying, you know, 
the universe is handing this person to you and this person is like multiple times this person is following you and they're trying to come into your life and I do feel this is a new person this might have been like for the past two months but you haven't entered into a relationship with them because you were guarded because you try to go through life on your own they're like kind of like knocking on your door and they're just like let me in and you don't feel that you're completely healed yet mainly because you're still experiencing the energies of the three of swords with the pre high priestess you're still a little bit afraid I feel like you trust this person but you yourself know that you're not healed yet because this is a not only a card of emotional of uh, financial instability it's also like sensing that the feeling that sense of lack of self-worth or even feeling as if you're not 100 percent there emotionally in order for you to allow this person into your life okay so that's the thing that you're going to be grappling with for the second half of this month and i do feel if you let this person in there is going to be a very healing energy that comes through and i do feel that you are somewhat fated i would say fated to walk on this path together especially on the same life path to learn the same lessons and to work with one another as a unit in order to learn this lesson together rather than you know this the new lesson seems like it's about working together whereas the old lesson was all about self-worth was all about deciding for yourself what you're willing or not willing to put up with in relationships so I hope this makes sense to you on the work front there's definitely new projects coming through on the romantic front you definitely have a suitor you definitely have a suitor coming through this month possibly a water sign or possibly somebody who's just very spiritual very nurturing but they might have a tendency to um, to be a little bit too clingy. They call too too much, they text too much, and they want constant communication from you in order to validate their sense of self worth. So it might be somebody who is not emotionally, you know, one hundred percent secure with themselves. So this is something that you're grappling with, and I do feel this person is coming into your life because they are very magnetically drawn to your stability to your self-containment so I, I do feel it is the start of a good relationship as well however the way that it plays out down the road you want to do some healing first or at least let them do some healing first before you jump you both jump into this relationship okay so Capricorns I do wish you a very very happy um, Halloween I hope you all get out there and have fun um, if you'd like a private reading with me, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. And my website with the scheduling website can be found below. I, um, just, I, I do feel some energy, some celebratory energy coming through the, the last week of the month. And I do feel it might be related to Halloween. Um, just, I'm getting this feeling, be careful about where you park your car if you want to play it safe just leave your car at home and take a cab if you're going out and you're planning to drink a lot or if you're not feeling too happy and you feel like oh my gosh or if you're tired or sleep deprived and you feel like if I drink like a, if I have two drinks I'm going to knock out for example just make sure you just leave your car at home and take a cab okay it's just to avoid the mishaps is, is what I'm sensing with these three cards here so um, I do feel it is going to be a good month. It's going to be a good month for you. So don't worry about finances. Just go out, let loose a little bit, and let new people in. Let the past go, let new people in, okay? Because I do feel karmic relationships coming through, which is always good. You know, it, it's, um, it's good to learn new things from new people in general, all right?